Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenGuard Marketplace Vendor Attribute Manager plugin. Now this particular plugin allows the admin to create custom registration fields for the vendor registration form within your marketplace store. Now these custom registration fields or the vendor attributes are visible on the seller registration page under the other details section as you can see. Some of these uh, fields are already created and have been enabled by the admin from the plugins configuration settings the ones that you are right now seeing like the address telephone country region city postcode shop profile avatar and the rest of the ones that you can see up till uh, here up till the other payment and the tax information are already created ones so you just need to select them up from the configuration settings and they'll be available under the other details section apart from that you can also create custom registration fields or the custom vendor attributes those vendor attributes would also be added to the uh, other fields that we have added under the other details section here and uh, there are different uh, fields that can be used to create the different uh, vendor attributes so i'll be showing you the workflow there how the vendors uh, uh, how the vendor custom attributes can be created by the admin and the rest of the initial configuration required for this particular plugin there but before we proceed further with this particular uh, video tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so as i've told you uh, this plugin allows the admin basically to create the custom registration fields for the uh, seller registration form so under the other details here we have the default ones that are the your personal details your password details and here we are having the other details now under the other details we have some default uh, uh, attributes uh, that have been enabled that i've already told you like these ones are the default attributes that we have enabled from the uh, plugin configuration setting and uh, these are the ones are uh, these ones are the custom vendor attributes that have been created by the admin from the backend panel so let's hop on to the admin backend panel now and uh, here you can see that uh, uh, the ones that we were uh, I was talking about like address address to telephone country region gender short profile avatar uh, uh, PayPal ID country Facebook ID uh, text info uh, these were the default ones uh, up to the tax information these were the default ones enabled by the admin under the allowed registration fields and here we also have the vendor attribute option now we, if we enable this option then uh, we can add uh, custom vendor attributes as well and those attributes would be added to this particular uh, section here for example if uh, what i what i'll do is i'll just uh, remove these uh, uh, options that we have uh, selected uh, let me go ahead and let me remove all of these options uh, to give you a clear and a better understanding so i've removed all of these options here and i've just enabled the vendor attribute okay i'll save this configuration and i'll come back to this page and i'll just refresh the page now on the registration page here on the vendor registration page you can see that under the other details i only have right now the vendor custom attributes created by the admin and not the default ones that were enabled here uh, under the modules and uh, marketplace vendor uh, registration so these allowed registration fields are not selected so they are not visible only the vendor attributes are available now if you want you can also enable these options here if you want you can save them up and after saving up if i refresh the page you can see that the company locality company name and the rest of the text information is also visible along with the custom vendor attributes now how to create the custom vendor attributes so for that what you need to do is you need to navigate to marketplace and here you have to go to the vendor attribute section so here you will find that we have uh, created age credit card number cbv number date of birth and the same are visible here credit card number cbv number date of birth age to create a new vendor attribute you just need to tap here on the add new button and here you need to enter the vendor attribute name so for this example, I'll just uh, create a uh, simple checkbox option. Uh, for example, do you want to become a seller? For example, 
location would be marketplace the type would be so here you can see that we have different types that we can choose to create the custom uh, registration fields there or the uh, what we say as the custom vendor attributes so for this I'll be choosing a checkbox I'll choose the customer group as default status would be enabled sort order can be set uh, now the value for the attribute so for this I'll choose yes and then I'll be saving this particular vendor attribute so you can see that uh, I've saved uh, this particular attribute that I created for the checkbox do you want to become a seller now if I come back to the seller registration page and I refresh the page here you can see do you want to become a seller is option this option is available with a checkbox option whether you want to become or do you don't want to become a seller there so that's how the admin can create the vendor attributes under the marketplace and vendor attributes and these attributes would then be visible under the other details section on the vendor registration form now these uh, the uh, these vendor registration feeds are basically used to create uh, uh, to gather more information from the vendors while the vendors are trying to register on your store so according to that you can create different custom registration fields that you want to create or the vendor attributes and then you can enable them up and you can uh, then find those under the other details section now coming to the uh, initial configuration uh, for this but before that please uh, do uh, keep this in mind that this particular uh, plugin that's the open Guard marketplace uh, window attribute manager plugin is an add-on to the open cart multimedia marketplace by web cool. so you'll have to have that first and then you can make use of this particular window attribute manager plugin itself now coming to the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin what you need to do is you need to navigate through extensions and extensions and here you'll have to choose modules and here you'll have to go to marketplace vendor registration and tap on the edit button and here you have two different uh, tabs one is the vendor attributes and one is the vendor terms and conditions the very first option that you see here is uh, to enable or disable this marketplace vendor registration uh, option and uh, under the vendor attributes here you can find the allowed registration fields so you can select the registration fields that you want to have on the vendor registration page under the other details here so for example if i've chosen i just want to address to telephone country region and a few of these along with the vendor attribute so apart from the default ones if you want uh, to show the vendor attributes that we have created under the marketplace vendor attribute then you have to select the vendor attribute option as well so keep that in mind that you have to select the vendor attribute as well to show the vendor attributes that you have created under the vendor attribute section under the marketplace and then vendor attribute otherwise only the if you have not selected this one and you have selected the allowed registration field the default ones and if you save the thing for example and you refresh the page at the storefront then you won't be finding the custom registration fields that you've created under the vendor attribute here like age credit card cvv date of birth do you want to become a seller these would not be visible as they are not visible right now to you right under the other details you cannot see those uh, vendor custom vendor uh, registration fields or the attributes there that you have created so let's go back and uh, let me go back to the particular backend configuration by navigating to extensions extensions choosing the modules going to the marketplace vendor registration tapping on the edit button so now if i want to show the vendor attributes i have to select this option as well and then if i tap here on the save button and i refresh this thing here you'll find the vendor attributes being displayed as well along with the other information or the other or default fields that are available there in the back end of the module configuration itself now that was about the allowed registration fields now here you also have the allowed registration sequence so we have set the vendor attributes at the last if you want you can bring them up at the top as well you can save the thing and then the vendor registration custom registration fields that you have entered at the last would be displayed at the top of the other details section so here you can just shuffle uh, between the sequence of the registration fields of default registration fields that we have selected under the allowed registration fields 
Now coming to the vendor terms and conditions, here you'll be able to set up the terms and conditions for the vendor registration form and it would be visible here under the terms and conditions and you can set up the register message as well as for your own requirement and then you just need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings and after you have saved depending upon what you have selected under the allowed registration fields and the sequence that you have set according to that the custom registration fields would be visible under the other details here on the seller or the vendor registration uh, form itself so you can access uh, the vendor registration by going to my account and going to vendor register the same page will open as you can see with the details there so yes that was much about the open card marketplace uh, vendor attribute manager plugin and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements and can you do reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.qvs.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.